The number one most annoying thing when editing is having to take out all the gaps between talking. Well, let's look at a solution for that. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dali Borzujovic and today we are looking at AutoCut, an extension in Premiere that will literally save you hours in editing. All right, we're gonna start a new project and we're gonna import a track. Now this is just a clip from me recording myself while I was doing a podcast. It was for the vlog, no big deal. But because it was a vlog, there's a ton of pauses, right? Especially while I'm allowing the other person to talk. So we're gonna import this, we've got it on the timeline and you can see we've got, we've got gaps. We've got gaps while someone else is talking. We've got gaps while I'm talking, just pausing to breathe and all these other things. So there's lots of small edits to be made here, but why don't we just let AutoCut handle that for us? Now, I do wanna say that I was provided a free key from AutoCut in exchange for a video, but the only reason I reached out to them was because I was gonna make a video anyway. So win-win, right? So here we are, we've got three tabs. We've got AutoCut V2, AutoCut AI, and Podcast. Podcast is under development, so we're gonna leave that for now. But I will say the AutoCut V2 works great. Now you'll see nothing is selected, so nothing is in here. But once we select the clip on the timeline, we have our options. And what it's gonna show you is what it is currently going to cut out. So everything that's red, is gonna be removed automatically, right? So this is just from the beginning. These are the pauses. And you're, you're gonna say, but what about this pause, right? Well, this is not long enough to be considered a pause, especially when you account for the, the buffer zones. The lighter green here, that's a buffer zone. So certain certain letters trails, you know, you might have, you might start really, really low as you say something. So when you say, when, like, like you know, that, that W is low. So depending on how you are speaking, that could affect it. So that's why the padding is there. So I've got my padding set to 0.2 seconds. I believe the default is 0.3, but we can also ask it to remove anything that is under a shorter time frame. So we're gonna say 0.2 seconds. It's gonna restructure and you see it's got longer stuff here. So now remove talks shorter than anything, shorter than 0.3 seconds, anything that's separate and I'm talking. See, like this little thing here, I wanted to get rid of that. So you're just gonna adjust these settings, adjust these parameters that in order to get the best option that you have. So remove sounds is longer than point. Now point two, I feel like from my playing around, point two seems to be kind of like the spot. Um, but let's say after, before padding, we're gonna bring that down to point one. So there we go. So it's got that entire section back here removed and we've got this section down here clipped as well. So we're gonna cut that and delete, right? Now you could you create the backup. It's by default enabled what it's gonna do and you'll see it in the top left here. It's gonna create a separate folder with the timeline before, like it's just gonna make a copy of the timeline before it does anything, which is automatically a win because even if it screws something up and you don't like something, you can just go back and undo fully undo. Auto zoom is a great feature. Depending on the kind of footage you have, zooming in after a cut could actually make it feel a little better. So maybe if you're reviewing or if you're doing like a straight talking headpiece, that might be something to play around with. I don't particularly like it for my stuff, but so far I've only used this for podcasts and that's not really necessary. Most people who are watching a podcast, they don't necessarily care if there is a cut. Like they understand that people will cut podcasts. So what we're gonna do here is this is a eight and a half, almost nine, let's, let's call it nine minute long clip. We're gonna hit cut and delete and it's just gonna do its thing, right? So right now it's gonna start by searching for silences. Once it finds all of them, it goes through and it cuts. And depending on obviously your speed of your computer and all those things, that will depend on how fast this happens. Pretty solid. I've got an old Ryzen 32 gigs of RAM. Like, I mean, I've got a decent setup, I'm not gonna lie. But see right there, nine minutes, seconds. I wasn't even done with my Little, little spiel <laughs> that I came up with. So right here, 108 cuts, right? You have the option to undo. So you see right here, it says, since using AutoCut, you've saved 34 hours and 48 minutes. And look, I believe that because that would have probably taken me, let's say at least three minutes, but it did it in seconds. So it just really reduces that really annoying of just like, I, I have to do this cut. This isn't a artistic choice that I'm making. This isn't a cut that I'm making to clarify a statement. This is a cut that is blank silence and I need to remove it. So then after all that, you may end up with a clip where you see, oh, okay, maybe I've got some, some breaths or maybe just some pauses. What's this, what's, what do we got here? And, um, and uh... so this is just repetitive, right? And you can go through and eliminate those manually or you could 
mark it so you can see where it is. And then you can go through and decide, well, let's see. So it's not picking up any silences, right? But what if we say, hey, you know, it's down here. This red line is where it's catching silences. So why don't we lift that up and say, oh, look, now we've got a couple couple small spots. Why don't we lift that up to about 27? Mm, 25. Okay. Let's, let's, let's leave it about 26. And what we'll do is we will do anything shorter than 0.1 right so now it's pulling this one as well so we're going to cut and delete this is an even shorter clip it is per clip right so i've got the one clip selected so now that has pulled down even more stuff all right now let's go ahead and take a look at auto cut ai this with one parameter which is how aggressive do you want it to be will do all the work for you you don't have to set any padding or anything like that. You see right here, it's already done a bunch of cuts there. It took out this entire opening section and you can lower it and say, I, I don't really want it to be that aggressive. And you see, it cleans up a few things. It gives you a little more back, but I, I want it to go full tilt. I want to go the whole way. And uh, we're just going to hit cut and delete and see what happens. So again, it searches for the silences on the entire clip. It is a per clip decision that you're making when you use this. So if you want to use multiple clips, you do have to select them. And there it is. And I've now saved 35 hours by using AutoCut. But you'll see it doesn't find everything every time. Right here, we clearly have some stuff that we can cut. So then we go back to the normal stuff. We can bring it back. Lift it up here. Silence durations. There we go. Right. So you just mess with those parameters. Cut and delete. It's going to go through, minimize that unnecessary space. Now, the podcast option, I will say I have been the most excited about. Uh, basically, you're going to add multiple tracks of audio, right? You're going to have talkers one and two. You're going to tell it how long each person can should be talking if they are talking, if it detects that it's talking. So if you record with something, say Zoom, where you have multiple audio tracks, this is perfect, right? You're going to be able to say, boom, talker one, talker two, select the cameras. Now, currently I don't have any clips with multiple talkers, so can't demonstrate that one for you. But here it says you will add your podcasters, you will give them a name and you will select the corresponding audio and video tracks. I have been hesitant about using that one. However, I really think this is going to be revolutionary to my podcast because I tend to go long. I'm a talker. You guys know this. This is a 34 minute episode that I'm definitely going to have to cut down. I had to switch to this camera because this one died. <sighs> Man, technology, you know? <laughs> well, if you have any questions about auto cut, please drop them down in the comments. I will be happy to test out anything, any kind of video, any format, anything like that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks to auto cut for providing the license for this. I I've saved a bunch of time using this thing, so it's been fantastic. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.